on this video is going to be probably a bit of a tortilla talk vibe without a lot of editing so if you get bored easily this video is not for you we're just gonna like kind of hang out and have a great day together i'm just touching up my makeup so today i have therapy i've already done a bunch of work made a couple of doctor's appointments and hoping that someone will be able to fix my arm oh i came in here to pee and i definitely forgot to do that let me do that i'll see you in a second okay the pee has left the building and it's time for me to get some water and then have therapy remember when i downloaded the chat GPT. I kept calling it GBT, I think. Chat PT. Wait, chat G. Oh my god, whatever. The robot. Well, I had an idea after I did my little makeup thing where I let the robot AI thingy choose my makeup. I decided to do the same thing with outfits because, as we know, this is all I wear. Literally, this is my outfit every day. It's comfortable. It's cool. And I don't mean like, oh my god, I'm so cool. I mean like, whew, it's hot outside. I need to get cool. That's what I mean. It's breezy. Who else needs like an absurd amount of ice in their drinks? Because I I only like to drink any beverage if it's for rigid, ice cold, like, oh my God, I'm going to get frostbite from this beverage. I asked the AI robot to give me fashion advice. And honey, it did. So I ordered the outfits that it recommended for me to wear and they have arrived. And so I'm very excited to go through all those. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go through them all and put them all on today. Maybe over the weekend I'll be able to do it, but I'm very excited because some of the stuff that that robot picked out for me, I don't know about guys, like there's, leather involved so we'll see how that goes oh my gosh i forgot that i got this donut this morning oh my gosh what a happy surprise see there's a lot of perks to having adhd i constantly buy things and forget that i bought them and then when i remember later or see the things later that i got it's like a special surprise present like literally i've been so busy today i bought a donut completely forgot about it it's been sitting on my counter all day and now i have a delicious treat that might not be an ADHD thing. That might just be a me thing, being forgetful and dumb. Either way, I appreciate that about myself because almost every single day, I get a surprise present. Oh man, that's good. Wow, what an eventful evening that just occurred. The twins were playing basketball and it was very cute. And then Wesley stepped on a bee. They always wear their shoes outside, but we were just playing basketball, like right on our little brick area. There's never any bees over there. There's a lot of bees out in our backyard because we have a very beautiful flower garden backyard. And so whenever we go play in the backyard, they have to wear shoes because I'm so afraid they're gonna step on a bee. And what's so weird is as we we're walking outside, there's a voice in my head that said we should put on our shoes and then we didn't do it. So Wesley was such a champ though, he was so brave. All is okay now, he's all good. However, I just remembered a story that I wanted to tell you guys about how I am extremely psychic. I've mentioned to you guys before how like, I joke around with my friends that like, I'm psychic. I don't actually think I'm psychic, but sometimes things happen to me that I'm like, what? the heck, how is that a coincidence? That is crazy. And I actually don't think that I am psychic. I think that my dreams are psychic. I have very intense dreams. I've talked about this before. One time my friend texted me while I was sleeping and the text woke me up. But when that text woke me up, I was in the middle of a weird dream where there was a bear in my room with a fish in its mouth. And when I woke up to this text, here comes Daisy, of course. I text my friend and I just said, oh my gosh, you just woke me up from the weirdest dream ever. There was a bear in my bedroom eating a fish. There's like a fish in its mouth. That was so random. My friend was like, that is so weird. I literally just saw an ad for a video game that had a bear with a fish in its mouth. I just feel like that's so random and specific. Things like that happen all the time where I'll have like a weird dream about something and then it literally happens. Y'all, this one's real weird. Randomly last night, I had a dream that there was a rat in my house, like running around the house. I wasn't freaking out in the dream. I was just like, oh yeah, of course, rats live in houses. Like that was my mindset in the dream, but it was very vivid and it was very real. It's not a thing. I've never seen a rat in my house. I've never seen a mouse here. I've never seen anything but spiders at this house. So West Wesley wakes me up from this weird little rat dream and I'm just hanging out with Wesley and Maisie and playing with them and then Eric takes the kids downstairs for breakfast and sends me this. What'd you find, Flynn? Just there? Yes! What's going on? Like what? How random and weird is that? It's so specific. I didn't even freak out about the fact that there's a huge freaking rat dead in my house. My response to him was, what the F love? I had an effing dream that there's a rat in the house. Like how on earth did I literally have a dream about a rat being in the house? And then right after I have that dream, there's a rat in the house. That's weird, okay? I just wanted to tell you that wild story. It's the next day and I just was driving home from the doctor and I gasped out loud and said, oh my God, at the 
the sight of a woman because this woman was walking her son home from school or walking her son to her car or something. Clearly they'd just gotten out of school. The son was probably about five years old, looked like he was just getting off kindergarten or preschool for the first time. She was pushing a stroller with twins in it, identical twins. They looked the same age as all my kids. And I was like, oh my gosh, that mom has the same as me. She has like a five-year-old and two-year-old twins. Like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. And so then I went to look at the mother because I was like, this woman is a goddess. I know how hard her life must be having two-year-old twins and a five-year-old and to her chest was strapped an infant i literally go oh my god i how you that woman how are you alive are you okay do you need a break i wanted to like park my car and be like do you want a break do you want me to take a couple like that sounds so hard and i know there's people all over the world with four kids i'm one of four but there's something different about having toddler twins I'm not saying it's harder i'm not saying it's easier i'm not saying anything i'm just saying that's the only experience that i personally know as a five-year-old and two-year-old twins and so i know that that experience is difficult and the thought of adding a baby Sometimes I think about the fact that my grandma had five kids under five, five, ages one, two, three, four, and five at the same time. <gasps> There's this home video of my grandma at Disneyland with her five children under five, and she is in a dress and heels at Disneyland. Women are built different, man. Women are, whoo! Most women are stronger than me. I'm gonna eat some pirate food. I'm gonna eat some pirate food. I'm gonna eat some pirate food in my mouth. Girl dinner. You wanna have girl dinner with me? Sure. What's a girl dinner? This. I probably have Coke and cookies. Speaking of dinner, tonight we did something kind of cute and fun. We painted the bread that we were gonna make sandwiches out of. We were out of groceries, I needed to do a grocery shop, so all we could have for dinner was peanut butter and jelly and some fruits and whatever, but I wanted to make it a little bit fun. So I put some food dye in some water and let the kids paint that onto the bread. And then I toasted the bread so that it wasn't like soggy wet, you know? It was very cute. I love Flynn. I love Flynn too. I love yeah. Flynn too, I love Flynn too. Me too. Oh, Maisie, that is a soggy piece of bread. You want, a, you want a new bread? Do more? Yeah. Looks great, it's beautiful. Okie dokie y'all, didn't vlog much today, but I do have so much to say. I'm watercoloring right now. I watercolored this cuttlefish for Flynn and it was really fun. I'm not quite finished with it, but I started watercoloring other stuff because I've had this idea in my head for a while now of what I wanna do in my office area against the wall. Cause it was like a bunch of Miranda portraits and stuff and I took all those down during a not great day. So the wall in my main office area where I edit every day is blank. And I want it to be motivating in there. I don't want it to be a plain white wall and make it feel like in like a freaking hospital room or something. So I have a few things that I've been wanting to hang. Like I got this really awesome gift for Christmas. It's a quote from Cher and it says, mom, I am a rich man. And I love that quote. I love that interview with Cher. Taylor Swift had that quote framed in her music video for Calm Down. And I have like a replica of that one that was in the Taylor Swift music video. So I love that because it represents Taylor Swift and Cher. And it's a great quote. It was a great interview. And I have a couple other art pieces that I want to hang. Like for example, my grandma was an angel. Like she was literally the most perfect, sweet, adorable, amazing woman on the planet. She's the one who had the five kids in five years. Anyway, she um, she passed away from breast cancer, unfortunately, but she loved to cross stitch and she cross stitched this for my birthday. I think I was like 12 or 13 years old. And it says life is like a piano. What you get out of it depends on how you play it. And I just love this. And so I started collecting different artwork from family and stuff that's just been passed down that are inspiring in some way to me and I wanted to hang them but I also wanted to incorporate other things that might inspire me to keep going on days that are rough because last night I had a really bad night and I was really depressed and I was not doing well and I wanted to just give up and I felt very lost and I didn't know what to do and I was looking at that blank wall and I was like you know what I should put stuff up on that wall it'd be nice if in those moments of depression and feeling not good enough feeling worthless feeling feeling like a failure, it'd be nice to look up at the wall and see some inspiration. So I want your help because I started writing down quotes from different incredible women in history and people that I look up to and quotes from musical theater that I love and that inspire me, just things that I love that I can either paint or do some sort of artwork with, artwork with my kids or stuff like that. So a lot of these are Sondheim, but I'm gonna give you some examples. <laughs> any moment, big or small, is a moment after all. Seize the moment, skies may fall any moment. Opportunity is not a lengthy visitor. To wish and wait from day to day will never keep the wolves away. I mean, most of these are into the woods quotes. A dream is a soft place to land. That's obviously from Waitress. And I was 
in that show and I sing those lyrics every night and that lyric has never hit me harder than it did last night. I read that and wept because oftentimes when life feels chaotic and out of control, you do feel like you're falling. And the idea that like when life is chaotic and you feel like you're falling and you have no control over anything, a dream is a soft place to land. Like your dreams and your passions and the things that you love, that's where you should land. That's what's going to help you break that fall and be okay. You know, I don't know. I just, I love that lyric. Oh, so good. This is a quote from Carol Burnett, who I love. If someone tells you that you cannot do something and you believe it, they are right. Anyway, I was writing a bunch of different ones down and trying to think of interesting ways to do them. And it was late last night when I was doing this. So I was like, okay, which one can I do really quickly? Just a watercolor. So it was such a long winded story to tell you about what I'm watercoloring right now, but I'm watercoloring a quote from, you're not going to believe it, but Seussical the Musical. <laughs> I love Seussical the Musical and I was in Seussical the Musical a few times. And it's a show that I I feel like most people don't really like or think about very much. But I really like the show. I have really fun memories doing it. It's certainly not like an inspirational show with like these incredible quotes like a Sondheim show. However, there's a song in that show that has the lyric, tell yourself how lucky you are. I thought that would be a great thing to put on the wall because it's kind of like a little bit of manifestation, you know, on days where you're not feeling great, like to just tell yourself, no, I am so lucky and remind yourself of how lucky you are. Even if you don't feel lucky in that moment, it's kind of like manifesting those feelings and thoughts and emotions in you and it will force you to think about how you are lucky and all the things that make you lucky. So I found some pictures of when I was in the show and I played Gertrude and I decided to just paint like the bow that I wore in the show. So this is the bow that I wore on my head in that show. It looked like this. I didn't want like a photo of myself on the wall to inspire me because I don't think that would have been inspiring. And I wanted the quote and I wanted to like remember all the times that I did Seussical because I really loved being in that show. I thought it was so fun. So I'm just going to finish watercoloring this and then I'll frame it and put it up whenever I eventually make that inspirational wall. But I want your guys' help thinking of really good quotes that are like inspiring. If there's like an incredible quote from like an amazing comedian or an incredible woman in history, a lyric from a Broadway show, let me know and I can try to figure out how to turn it into some sort of artwork and put it on my wall. I also wanted to say that recently in a vlog, someone asked what the kids are gonna be for Halloween. And I said I didn't know and I hadn't asked them yet, but if I had to guess, I would guess that Flynn would wanna be a cuttlefish, Maisie's gonna wanna be a cat, and Wesley will probably want to be like a monster truck or something like that maybe a clownfish so I asked Flynn and he said he wanted to be a squid I think and then he also wanted to be a cuttlefish and then today now he's saying he wants to be a crawfish or something I don't know he's changing it every day so I have to wait a minute before I can start making his costume because it keeps changing Maisie didn't skip a beat she was like I want to be a kitty cat and I was like, I called it. I knew she'd want to be a freaking kitty cat. She was like, I want to be a kitty cat. Like she knew exactly what she wanted to be. And at first she said she wanted to be a kitty cat that had sprinkles all over it. And then she changed her mind and said she wants to be Gus Gus. She might be Gus. I don't know. And then Wesley was the one wild card. I was not expecting this, but I asked him what he wanted to be for Halloween. He said a ballerina. I was like, what? Do you know what a ballerina is? And he was like, yeah, he's a dancer. And I was like, okay, you can be a ballerina. It's, it just seems so random. Like we don't watch shows about ballerinas. We don't talk about ballerinas. Even when he took a dance class and like Maisie would wear tutus and stuff and other girls in class were wearing tutus. I never said like those are ballerinas. Like no one ever told him what a ballerina was. So I'm like very kind of confused and shocked at like how he even knows what that is, but that's exciting. So he wants to be a ballerina. But then shortly after that, he changed his mind and said he wanted to be a monster truck. So as of right now, we will have a kitty cat, some sort of sea creature and a ballerina slash monster truck. I'm gonna keep working on this this little guy and I need to finish this. And I think tonight I'll probably do some sort of a painting or something of uh, wood so I can do an Into the Woods quote. But that's it for now. I'm gonna call it a night. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. <music>